welcome guys welcome to our channel star moon study so i hope you are fine in this pandemic situation so i am tanmay mangalra i study in sky school in kerala so as we all know that in previous video we have covered chapter 6 which was physical and chemical changes but in today's chapter we are going to cover weather climate and adaptations of animal to climate okay so we are going to cover all uh, uh, all the uh, all the things in this chapters okay we will learn whether what is climate and adaptation for animals to climate so before starting our this amazing video i have a request to you all if you like this video please do like subscribe and share this video to your friend and to your amazing family and do comment below so let's start our amazing chapter so as we all know that our chapter name is weather climate and adaptations of animals to climate weather climate and adaptation of animals to climate okay so first of all we will learn what is weather so weather include includes temperature humidity rainfall and as well as wind speed okay so let's see now weather weather is recorded Uh, through weather is recorded to maximum and minimum uh, thermometers. So, guys, do you all remember that in in chapter four heat we have learned all the types of thermometer, right? So one of them is a uh, uh, maximum and minimum thermometer. Okay. So I hope this is clear. That weather part is clear to you all. Weather can be uh, weather uh, includes tem uh, temperature, humidity, rainfall as well as wind speed, and weather is recorded through maximum and minimum temperature. Now let's come on to the climate. So as you can see here, climate. Now climate can be of two types. It can be uh, hot and dry climate, or it can be wet. Okay. So right in this picture, you can see that uh, hot and dry. and here you can see the wet climate okay so now basically hot and dry uh, cli uh, climate is found in rajasthan okay rajasthan and north east jammu and kashmir now wet climate is found in jammu north east jammu and kashmir okay so now let's come on to the adopt now do you all re uh, that uh, remember that to uh, do we say that climate forecast No, we do not say that the climate forecast. Uh, forecast. We do say weather forecast. We do say weather forecast, right? We we say weather forecast. Okay. We do not say climate forecast. So now let's come on to the adaptations of animal. Okay, to climate. Now. adaptations now adaptations can also be defined in two parts first can be polar regions and second can be tropical rainforest so do you know what is adaptation Ad adaptations mean that how do they they adopt adapt themselves like this polar region see now uh, as human be being also live in many uh, many uh, many adaptation right because some of them live in jammu and kashmir where it is very cold and some of them in live in uh, rajasthan which is where it is very hot right so they adopt adopt themselves right so now let's come now adaptation are also two types polar region and tropical rainforest so now in polar region it is very cold okay in, in polar region it is very cold Right here, you can see in this picture. So now, polar in polar region uh, there lives polar bears. Okay. So now, how do it adopt? Now, it uh, it has layer of fat, layer of fat, and white fur. Right here, you can see it has white fur, right? And long curved and sharp claws. And it has long sharp, long curved and sharp claws. Okay. So now, polar region. Also, example is Siberian crane. Siberian crane is found in Siberia or Bharatpur. 
ओके साइबेरियन माइग्रेट एंड इट इट फाउंड इन साइबेरिया एंड भारत पे ओके नाउ साइबेरियन क्रीन इन वी डू वो से दैट इन हिंदी वी से दैट सारस ओके वी से सारस इन हिंदी वी से साइबेरियन क्रीन सारस ओके नाउ पोलर रीजन्स पेंगुइन राइट पेंगुइन ओके नाउ लेट्स सी द एडॉप्टेशन ऑफ पेंगुइन नाउ पेंगुइन हैज स्ट्रीमलाइन बॉडी स्ट्रीमलाइन बॉडी ओके and it has thick skin that right here you can see thick skin lot of fat and huddle together now do you notice notice that it has also layer of fat and it has also lot of fat so now fat help them to stay in that very cold region okay so now let's come on to the second type of adaptation which is tropical of rainforest okay so now tropical of rain forest examples are red eye frog this is red eye frog now what is the adaptation of it now adaptation is a it is very it has very sticky pad okay it has very sticky pad now an examples of rain forest is monkey also it has long tails for grasping branches right uh, so we all do see monkeys they can uh, climb very easily on trees right so they have long tail for grasping branches now tropical rain for, uh, forest uh, let's see token okay let's see token now it has long large beak beak long large beak okay now lion and tigers thick skin and sensitive hearing now they have very thick skin and sensitive hearing that this mean that they can hear very very far also okay now long tail mascu or beard app let me show you long tail mascu or beard app right here you can see adaptation of lion tail mouse okay now feed mainly on fruits now they uh, the lion tail mouse make you uh, feed mainly on fruit they have silver white mane really comes down on the ground okay so these are the adaptations now let's see the adaptation of elephant now let's see adaptation of elephant they have very large ears here you can see that they have very large ears and hear very soft sound now they can hear very soft sound they have trunk uh, right here you can see ele elephant trunk pick up food and touch modified teeth okay modified teeth so i hope this all is clear so now and this was our mind map let's uh, see it briefly okay let's see it in briefly so now climate and adaptation let's see the definition of climates and adaptations okay now the the ability the ability of an organism to develop to certain uh, develop to certain features which improve the chances of it survival in the environment in which they live is known as adaptation now the ability of organism to develop certain features will improve the chances of its survival right they adopt their uh, themselves they have ability okay for uh, survival in the environment in which they live is known as adaptation okay They, 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 it is known as adaptation. Now, animals are adapted, adapted to survive in the condition in which they live. Okay. Now, animal are adapted to survive in the condition in which they live. In other words, an adaptation is a trait of an organism. It means a trait of of an organism that has been favored by natural selection. Okay. Trait of an organism that is favored by natural selection. Now. how many types of adaptation can be okay let's see the first one is adaptation are of three types 
structural adaptations now adaptation of a special body parts of an organism organism that helps it to survive in natural habit is called as structural structural adaptation now let's see the example of structural adaptation skin color shape body covering body cover okay the second one is behavior behavior adaptation adaptation of a special way in in particular organism that help it to survive in its natural habitat it usually occurs in response to some external stimuli examples are frogs and bears undergo hibernation or winter sleep during hard winter season okay now a behavioral adaptation is something a special way in a particular organism that helps it to survive in its natural habitat okay in natural habitat it usually occurs to in response to some some uh, external stimuli okay remember it okay now example of frog and bear undergo hibernation or winter sleep during hard winter season now the third type of adaptation is physiological adaptation adaptation of body system presents in an organism that allow it to perform that allow it to perform the certain biochemical reaction examples warm blooded animals and are able to keep the constant body temperature this was the third type of adaptation now animals that live in a very cold or hot climate must process special features to protect themselves against extreme cold or heat now the features and habits that help that help an animal to adapt to their surrounding are a result of processing process of evolution okay the process of evolution according to their habit animals adapt themselves now according to themselves they, they, they adapt themselves okay these animals may be group of polar legion and tropical region now polar region polar region um, polar region and tropical region as we know that we have studied in a uh, mind map okay we have studied in mind map right okay now that uh, uh, polar region and tropical rainforest now let's see the polar re regions in very brief let's see in briefly now the polar regions as the, as, as the name suggests are situated near the poles like north pole or the south pole. example are north pole and the south pole the, the countries that belong to the polar regions are canada are canada greenland Iceland, Norway, Sudan, Finland, Alaska in USA, and Siberian region of Russia. So in Siberia, we uh, it is found that what do we found that Siberian tree. Okay, so the polar regions that shows extremely colder climate, which is covered with snow and remain cold a part of the year in the region. The sun does not set for six months and even does not rise for uh, other six months the temperature go down below minus 37 degrees right minus 37 degrees during winter in polar regions the ground remains frozen most of the year and water becomes available only during the short summer when snow melts mosses and short-lived flowering plants grow in this in these region so i hope uh, uh, all this part is clear uh, till now right now animals that uh, animals in these regions are adopted in different ways to cooperate okay and now animals in this region are adopted in different ways now adaptation is done in different ways the condition of temperature, light, and moisture, and according to the availability availability of food in that region. 
Polar bears and penguins are the animals that live in polar region. As we as we all know that uh, we have seen the examples of polar regions, which was um, that the penguins and polar bears. Right beside these, there are more examples like whales, seals. Are the animals are also found in polar regions. Some such as foxes, musk, oxen, reindeer, and birds also live in the polar regions. So these all are the examples of polar regions. Now let's come on to the next slide. So adaptations in polar bears. As we all know that we have studies, we have studied in that mind map, right? So now let's study in briefly. Adaptations in polar bear. Polar bear is a large and white bear that lives in the North Pole region of the Earth. The polar bear mainly feeds on fish and seeds and can survive in the extremely cold climate of polar region due to the following adaptation. Okay, now it has adopted himself. Polar bear. Polar bear has adopted itself in polar region. Now their body is covered by two thick coat of white fur. Okay, now their body, their body is covered by a two uh, uh, by a two thick coat of white fur. Beneath the fur is thick coat of fat, which insulates the body. A polar bear is good swimmer, which uh, which has wide and large paws. It has long curve and sharp claws they have a strong sense of smell right now polar bears um, eat fish now now that's why they have they have adopted themselves now they have very uh, strong sense of smell the thick layer of fat beneath the skin of also store food in winter when food is scarce okay now scarce is the new word the thick layer of fat beneath the skin also store food in winter when food is scarce now now it the thick layer fat beneath the skin also store food now it the it is go it is stored the food now when the food it is not there scare means the anything is not there okay now the sta the stored fat uh, also helps the mother polar bear to survive in the winter when they undergo hi hibernation beneath the snow with the newborn cubs okay when the newborn comes i hope that adaptations of polar bear is uh, is clear to you all now let's see so in this picture you can see it is polar bear now it has a it has fur not easily visible in the snowy now when the enemy of polar bear for uh, that the polar bear comes right like the hunters now they have very white fur right white fur so now snow is, snow is also white right so when they walk so now we cannot see them easily now they the white fur not easily visible in the snowy white bed it has very strong sense of smell it helps the bear to locate and catch the its prey it has long curve and sharp claws they help him to walk on ice it has layer of fat under its skin the, the fat insulates its body from cold and keeps it warm okay these keep its warm in cold weather. It has two thick layer of fur. Its predicator and prey are unable to see it. Okay. Because of its white fur. Now let's see the adaptation of pen penguins. Adaptation in penguins. Now other well known animal living in the polar regions is the penguin which can survive due to the following adaptation. Right. These are penguins. They, they have also, they also have white fur. These are black and white in color which merges well with the white background of ice and snow. Okay. They have thick skin and a thick layer of fat below their skin and protect them from the extreme cold. Okay. They have thick skin and the thick layer of fat below their skin which protect them from extreme cold. The, they, they possess a streamlined body, flipper like wings and which make it a good swimmer. Okay, now, now penguins are also good swimmers. This adaptation helps to penguin catch fish as prey. They live, uh, they live together in a large number of handles together to keep themselves warm. Now, let me show you that, that picture now. Okay, let me clear it. Now see. If 
do you do not see these two penguins together now at the background of them now here you can see all all the penguins are crowded now they are crowded because they need warm they need to keep themselves warm okay so now let's come on to the next slide like polar bears penguins are also good swimmers in the next slide we have seen like uh, uh, they have helped crabfish and they are also web feet which make it good swimmer okay now like polar bears penguin are also good swimmers streamlined body and their feet webs other animal living in the polar regions are many types of fishes musk oxen reindeer foxes seals whales and birds okay and birds so now let's come to the next slide so these were the examples of polar regions polar region okay now this uh, it's they were the example of polar region now let's come on to the migration okay now in this the mind map that you have seen that siberian current and here comes the migration world now let's uh, see it in brief migration is the seasonal journey taken by different animals or bird to escape the extreme climatic condition and to search of food example siberian cranes cranes the siberian crane in hindi we say it as saras right as as i tell okay so now let's uh, let's cover more Sib example of siberian crane migration toward wa warmer region in autumn by traveling several thousand of kilometers okay they travel thousands of kilometers in the search of food they are seen in bhavar bharatpur Rajasthan and Sultanpur, Haryana, and sometimes in wetland of Northeast and the other parts of India. Now, Siberian crane are also seen in Bharatpur, Rajasthan, and Sultanpur, Haryana, and sometimes in wetland of Northeast. Migratory birds sometimes travel as much as now. See, now migratory birds sometimes travel as much as okay, as much as fifteen thousand kilometer to a escape the extremely climatic condition to their habitat okay to their habitat now now let's see more about migration these were by high uh, where the wind blow is helpful and called cold condition allow them to disappear the heat generated by flight muscle now these are the siberian cranes we say that sires okay now these birds have a built in sense or direction and known in which direction they have traveled some birds use landmark to guide they have also landmark to guide then some birds are guided by the sun during day and time by star during night some birds can use the magnetic field of the earth to find the direction okay so this was this was all about the migration migratory bird okay now let's come on to the to the tropical region now the tropical region lies near both the sides of equator line on the earth now we as we you know that there are two types right but first of them is trop, uh, tropic of cancer and second one is tropic of capricorn now these region are hot but get plenty of rainfall therefore this region is humid humid in climate even in coldest uh, for that coldest mother coldest month the temp the temperature is generally higher than about 15 degrees celsius during hot summer the temperature may across 40 degrees Celsius days and night are almost equal to the length throughout throughout the year. These regions are rich in vegetation and large diversity. Animals are also seen in region in this region. Okay, now animals are also seen in tropical of region. Now let's see the tropical of rainforest which we have seen in mind map. Now in India, tropical tropical rainforests are found in Western Ghats and Assam. Other countries of the world like South East Asia, East Asia, Central America, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brazil, Republic of Congo, Kenya, Uganda, Nigeria, Nigeria, and Central America, Africa also have trop tropical rainforest. Okay. Now the major type of animal living in the rainforest are monkeys. We have read about it. Monkey apes, gorilla, tiger, elephant, leopards, lizard, snakes. 
birds and insects okay and insects so these are the examples of the tropical rainforest see there there are the large number of animals found in the, these regions there is an in, intense competition for food and shelter among these animals so the animals are adapted in such a way they eat different kind of food and live in different kind of places to overcome competition for their food so they need food right so they could do com competition overcome of two different places or kinds of places and shelter respect respectively the adaptations in different animal living the tropical rainforest can be discussed as follows now let's see the adaptation of red eyed frog okay adaptation of red eyed frog now the red eyed frog live in on trees in tropical rainforest they have sticky pads on their feet help them to climb trees okay so now if we have seen it in a mind map okay it does not live in water and have a green back a creamy underside let me show you in color see they have green back and colorful right and uh, it is it is nocturnal and the bulging eye of frog protects it from predators predator the sudden opening of big and bright red eyes frightens the predator for for a while and the meantime the frog get time to jump to a sleep okay so the red, red eye or the bulging eye protects the frog from the predator the green color the frog has to hide within the green leaf right so we can't see because green and green right or the tree help it to protect from predators so i hope the adaptations in red eyed frog is clear so now let's see the adaptations in monkey now let's see the adaptations in monkey okay so now the monkey living in tropical rainforest have long tail or the grasping for grasping branches long tail right here you can see their hands and feet are adopted in such a way that that they can easily hold the branches of trees the eyesight of monkey is very good monkeys eat fruit seed leaf fruit and insects as their food which in present evidence and tropical forests see we can't see it clearly but it is the uh, it is the uh, eating food or that fruit only right so monkey monkey eat fruit seed leaf fruit insects for their food in the presence of abundance in tropical forest rainforest okay now adaptation in taucan okay now taucan is a bird which has which is found in tropical rainforest forest and which poses a long shock and large beak Okay. it is a colorful bird which crosses a range beak it is it live almost it live most of the time in the holes of the big trees the long and large beak help the uh, token to tree the fruit attached to the ends even the branches of the trees these for the fish that are adapted for grasping the branches of firmly can can change the color of its feather okay so now let's revise it once more takan is a bird which found in in tropical rainforest and which poses a long strong and large beak and large beak it is a colorful bird which poses a, a strange beak it lives most of the time in the holes of big trees the long and the large beak help takan to raise the fruit attach the ends of fruit the ends of even thin branches of tree okay these were these were the feet that are adapted for grasping the branches of trees firmly token can change the color of its feather so now let's uh, let uh, let me show you the token very colorful right uh, where is the east side right it is uh, looking very pretty right it has many colors as we can see Okay, Tekken can change the color of its feather, which we can see in this slide. Okay, 
So now let's go on to the next slide. So now, uh, so let's see the next slide. So guys, I think so now, so for today it is enough for us. So we will the complete then the rest of the chapter in the part two. So we will cover in part two we will cover adaptation adaptation in lion tail, uh, macu and adaptation adaptation in lion and tiger, and the last one is adaptation in uh, elephant. So now we are left with three things. Okay, so that we will cover in part two. Okay, so thanks for watching. Like and sub uh, like and comment and do subscribe to our channel and start my study and share this video to your friend and to your amazing family. See you in the next session part two. Thank you.